All right, yo, you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Money Star, back again with another video. So I figured I could holler at y'all real quick because, of course, you know, if you ever see me nighttime, I'm in my car type shit. Um, I'm, what the hell is going on? I'm basically dashing. And when you dashing in the South, like, it's very interesting. Like, you never know what type of people you're going to run into. It's, it's crazy. But, uh... Yeah, man, I just dropped a video about, like, what happens, like, when the red button gets pushed. Like, how are you going to react? Or, you know, based on just, like, how life is set up, sometimes a certain event will happen in your life. It could be, you know, a job or uh, a female. It just depends on, you know, what the situation is. They can either enter or exit your life. You know what I'm saying? So... <clears throat> It's just, we have to keep that awareness that, like, you feel me, we can't never get too damn comfortable because things happen and shit will forever be changing. Speaking of changing, as you continue your journey, as you continue to be on a higher streak every single day that passes, I know you are experiencing the glow. I know you're probably, some people might be in monk mode. This is a great feeling to be in. And uh, even as I'm like continuing my journey, bro, like this week, it's all about tapping in with my inner self, my inner energy. And, you know, God has given me an opportunity to prove myself and show whether like, you know, I whether or not I'm going to just submit to the old ideas of living or I'm going to transcend them and, you know, just be great, you feel me, in my own light and actually step into my own light. So, for the most part, like, like this week, it's all about just hustling. Um, and then also, I get a chance to relax, too, because I won't be on the schedule and shit. You know, I, I don't start my new gig until this Friday. So, again, I have a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> so, be on the lookout for a lot of videos, too. That last video, not the one that I just dropped, but the one before that. I don't usually watch back my videos. But that was the part two to, like, why uh, or, yeah, why some women will specifically choose you and, like, pick you to try to fuck with, try to take. <clears throat> take some of your life force energy that video bro like i knew it was gonna be good but it was like when i watched it back i don't usually watch back my videos but i actually did and before i even knew noticed like how long i've been watching i think i was like 20 minutes in or something like that 28 minutes or something like that um that bro i don't know if y'all heard that shit but there's a random chick just being ghetto and screaming but yeah pretty much that was a real event that did happen and i actually have different events and i have different story times like if you guys want me to i can share that with y'all um but we just got to be aware and be careful you don't want to do all this work bro you don't want to put in all this time to you know just waste it to somebody who doesn't deserve that shit you feel me so that's what I'm going to keep in mind. And again, I'm going to have a lot of peace. I'm going to have a lot of time and space to myself. I'm going to be able to meditate. Uh, I'm also going to get back into fasting too. <clears throat> because uh, I want to say this, the second half of May, it was a little rocky. Life happened and shit. So I had to eat when I can type shit. I mean, not to say that I was starving, but... My, and I don't even know if you guys go through this, but I, I'm actually going to bring this point up. But like my higher self or like my, the higher elements of my mind, it's so tired of the, the same things over and over again. You buy a whole bunch of groceries, you come home, you put the groceries away. And then of course you got food to eat or whatnot until you don't have any more. And now you got to go back and buy the same shit that's supposed to be natural and shit. It's like, 
I get tired of doing some of the human things, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Like, if I'm if you're in monk mode, you're not eating as much. You're not doing as much. You feel me? You're not thinking about certain things as much. So it's like a completely different like lifestyle once once your mind is like actually tapped in and in tune with like what you got going on. So I sometimes I bro, like I despise shopping, bro. I don't like going shopping, bro. Even if I had the money or whatever, I don't care how much money I have. I hate the idea of going to go shop and then purchase things that, you know, if it's, if it's, um, something that's natural or healthy or whatnot, it's tainted. You know, you're, you, you're talking about going into a, a supermarket and buying f fruits and vegetables or just whatever. And then on top of that, with inflation, you got the prices that's that's going up and shit. So just for for a few grapes and apples, you damn near paying twenty dollars. And that's just just like mind boggling to me. And I know it's like part of the matrix. I know it's going to keep happening or whatnot. The prices are going to go up and shit. But like, you know, at the end, end of the day, my higher self be like, bro, like we get it it's the matrix and shit but we don't even feel like being a part of that like we're here like it's not like i'm gonna just not do shit or not eat but when you fast especially when like that's what i'm saying like i fasted i want to say the month of april between march and april a lot of my videos if you check out some of my videos from march and april it was more about fasting and being aware of what you eat and you feel me and I was actively doing that and I found I found myself like just like not doing a lot of the things uh things that my peers was doing as far as like if I don't eat past 8 p.m for example my peers would still be you know watching a movie or watching a game and then of course they're gonna have their meal they're gonna have their dessert they're gonna have their drink and whatever the fuck they use and me I'm over here sober. I done finished eating already. I feel different. You know what I'm saying? I feel completely different. You know what I'm saying? So, and then it's kind of like, how do you try to still like vibe with your friends or your peers when you don't do half the stuff they that they do? And not to look down on them or anything, but it's just like you're in your zone doing what you got to do as far as like, you know, raising your vibration and raising your frequency. So... Sometimes, like, on my on my journey, I be feeling like, I be feeling like, yo, I can't wait. And not, not saying that I'm not grateful, because I'm grateful of the now. But it's just certain things within the matrix that, like, you know, my higher self is just, like, don't, don't really care about. You know what I'm saying? Because as long as I know how to, um, shit, honestly, if we being real, you know, they programmed us to think that we need three meals a day we really don't but shit enough water um enough just a, a, the right amount the right amount of salt um and sunlight niggas don't really have to eat like that i can fuck around and photosynthesize in this motherfucker you feel me if i really want to but you know at, at the end of the day I know I'm gonna like create a lifestyle and a space for me where I can actually start growing my own stuff. Cultiv not only just cultivating my energy, but also cultivating the things in the matrix and try to make them more, put their frequency more aligned with mine. So, you know, again, I don't mind being patient to grow my own shit, you feel me? Um, sometimes people be wanting the stuff now, like right now I'm doing DoorDash somebody wants uh, to eat and it's eleven twenty four right now and somebody wants is trying to get something to eat let alone it's bad enough that it's fucking mcdonald's you know what i'm saying but it's just it's crazy it's crazy how like we we live this way every single day we want things now instant gratification we, we're gonna order the food and we're gonna go online and watch this and you know we got a chick that doesn't stay too far so Again, there's nothing wrong with having fun, but shit, if you're always trying to seek fun, 
at some point in time, it becomes unhealthy. And then the fun ain't really even that. Is it even worth trying to have that fun when you know you have to like recover or you do, you done burnt out your energy and shit like that. And now you got to deal with all this baggage and all this, these different emotions and shit. So it's like, I try my best to just chill, be balanced and be patient really because I know I could live extravagant. Like my, my lifestyle will be extravagant. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel from within. Y'all hear y'all hear that shit in the background? I'm telling you, bro, when you dashing in the south, bro, you may never know who you who you gonna come across, dog, or who you gonna hear, especially in the summertime. It's lit right now out here. For real, for real. But you know, I know a lot of y'all probably thought I cut my hair in the last video, but not not yet. I plan to actually cut my locks. Um, when am I going to cut my shits? I'm going to cut my shits in, um, on Thursday coming up. I'm going to miss these motherfuckers, though, bro. I ain't going to hold you, but this is part of the journey, too. Letting go. And you know what's crazy, bro? This is also part of, like, self-care. You know what I'm saying? Like, making sure, like, you, you are well put together as much as possible while you're on this journey. Because you, you may never know who you really will attract or, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I probably will make a video about, like, you know, self-care and how, like, once you take care of yourself and you do the necessary things to, you know, be godlike in your body, in your temple that will actually be a lot more attractive for women. Women will see you, they'll see the light and the right type of women will see the light too. You feel me? Not just any type of woman, bro. Cause again, you gonna have the glow, you are gonna have everything going for you. But at the end of the day, you just can't let nobody, you know, get attached to your energy like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, bro, that was just a quick little video. I was just kind of like reviewing the past two videos that I dropped. If you missed it, check it out. Um, I'm going to continue my journey. And I'm going to do what I do. And yeah, bro. The hell, bro? All type of animals been like, all my shit. All type of bugs and shit. You can tell, bro. It's the summertime, bro. Summertime, it be lit. That's why, like, my house, that shit be cold as hell. We keep that shit on, like, our, our, our AC, like, at between 69 and 75 it was 90 degrees outside today so but yeah bro i'm gonna finish up this dash and i'm gonna catch you guys on the next video bro peace